that covers about how many acres? Um, Doug, we probably put in, it's about a third of the farm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So then these other... 25,000. 25,000, you call those plants? Plants, yeah. Yep. Uh, hops hops plants. plants. And they look like tomato plants. Mm -hmm. Those will be going in next week? Yeah, next Saturday. We're, we've got a pretty big crew coming out and we're going to... Do you do that partially by hand, partially mechanical, or what? Yeah, we did all the rhizomes by hand. Uh, Doug, Doug had a crew out here, and uh, and we got those in in about a day and a half. And uh, but the plants we're going to try a one-row tomato planter uh, that that I bought from a from a farmer uh, tomato farmer down in Muscatine, and um, we're gonna we're gonna try to use that for for a part of it to see if we can ease the labor a little bit. What is your goal by having all this in the ground then? Uh, next weekend they'll all be in the ground. Okay. Okay. Um, do you have a card before I forget? Or I, I, I guess Jamie's the yeah, Jamie Bell. She's the yeah. contract contact in yeah, case absolutely. I need to talk. Yeah. Like yep. I don't know when my story's going to run, but sure. I just wanted to verify if I make mention that you've done the planting, or it's, mm -hmm. in case it rains, it might be the following sure. weekend. So those kind. Yeah. Of, um, so um, when will these hop plants be? producing hops. Is there kind of a delay like there would be on, on, on grapes or other crops? Yeah, it takes three years to get, it, with rhizomes, it takes about three years to get them to full maturity. With plants, we should be able to get full maturity in two years, but uh, we're, we're hoping to get a 40% crop this year um, on, our, on our plants. This year, when, when would that be, the harvest? Uh, in the fall. We'll, we'll start late August, uh, early September. Generally, it'll be early August, mid-August, but we're, we're kind of getting a late start on our plants here. So it'll be it'll be mid to late August when we'll start harvesting. And then next year you'll go from forty percent to what eighty percent? Yeah, forty percent to about eighty percent. Mm -hmm. And then the third harvest yeah, will third, be third year. It should be full production. What do you anticipate? Uh, how do you uh, qualify the uh, amount of hops? Is it by pounds or bushels? Yeah, or? it's it's by pounds. So everything is by a dried pound. So we'll harvest the hops at about eighty percent moisture. And everything will be picked. Uh, we'll pick the binds off the off the, the the hanging wires. We'll pick the binds off, and then you uh, you you manually uh, put them into a, a picker. So our picker we purchased from Europe, and uh, that just just is coming across the ocean right now. So we should have that. It sounds like next week, but it's a stationary picker that we're going to have in our machine shed. And uh, so we'll bring the hops plants. You harvest them off the bind. You bring them up into the stationary picker, and then you hand feed them into the picker. And it, it separates the combs from the from the vines. Hmm. Okay, where does that come from? Uh, it's actually this one's coming over from Europe. I believe it was sourced in Poland. Wow! So you you physically have to go out by hand and, and yeah. break or cut off or yep. tear out. You bring the whole vine into the yeah. You break the whole vine off at the at the base of the plant and, and bring it in and then you feed it into the harvester. Tell me about Mark. He, I I, I, I thought he said that he didn't have any beer or maybe he said he didn't have any. Uh, any breweries he doesn't do any brewing yeah he has or no yeah so tell has, me about his beers and, and where that's at he has two beers he has uh patty's draft patty's ale and uh patty's ale is his is his first beer and it's kind of a hoppy beer um it, it's it's pretty good it's a hoppy beer and then he's got a beer called titzenheimer and that beer is more of an ale um both of them are made at bent river in the quad cities so he has it toll manufactured uh, okay so that's right he said that it was by contract, yes. brewed by contract yeah, or however. Yeah. So he has a contract brewer making his beer. So he provided the recipe and they follow the recipe and then they do the canning uh, there also. And how is it sold? Uh, right now he has a couple distributors. Uh, 7G Distributing is one of the distributors out of the Quad Cities that distributes it. They're an Anheuser-Busch distributor. Uh, Mark, Mark has his own distributorship also so he can ship beer all over. Uh, and I believe he also has a distributor down uh, in the Lake of the Ozarks. He's just starting to get set up too. So there's no uh, brew pub or anything like that that mm -hmm. he, he owns, no, but he, it's, no, it's available through... Yeah, yeah, it's available through different places. I know High Bee in Iowa City, Cedar Rapids has it, uh, the Big Grove Brewery in Solon has it, and uh, West Side Store in Muscatine has it, so we're just starting to get it out. Uh, the beer that's already being produced, is that with Iowa hops? Uh, we, we started the first batch with our own hops, so now, but now since we've run out of those, uh, we're, we're sourcing other hops to... The, Actually, the contract brewer is finding the hops to put uh, to put into the beer. How long has he been making beer and retailing it? Mark? Yeah. Uh, just this year. So and he just launched it a few oh, months ago. Okay. <laughs> and and that's partially with Iowa hops. Yes, absolutely. Yes, and it'll eventually this next year it'll be all Iowa hops. Okay. 
Um, and he's going to have other lines, uh, other kinds of beer as well. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure what his plans are with his with his beer. Um, but uh, but right now he has the two. I, I'm wondering if may, maybe I'm, I'm asking questions at this point about his beer. But really, it's the hops are a bigger crop on its own than just supplying Mark's beer. Yes, absolutely. We're uh, we've contacted all of the breweries in the in the Midwest. Uh, they were our first ones that we contacted. And several of the breweries in Iowa are starting to reach out to us because that's one of the one the one of the things that they want to do. Obviously, there's a shortage of hops, but if they can source it in Iowa and say that they have Iowa hops, um, that's something that they want to market and advertise. Is there a difference between Iowa hops and Northwest American hops? So well, we'll we'll find out. But like I said, the parallel is so similar about uh, where we're located in North America that uh, we think it's going to be fairly similar. But but there are different uh, the. Uh, the, the hops gives the the beer the aroma and the and the bitterness, um, so it gives it flavor and it gives it the smell, and uh, there's different levels of alpha acids uh, in the in the hops, and a lot of it is determined and based on the soil type. So we'll be testing all of our hops. All of our hops will be uh, will will be tested, and and so we'll know the level of the uh, of the alphas in the in the hops that we produce. Is there a something a comparable to a business plan in, in another uh, element of agriculture that's, that we can compare it to? Or what is your business plan? Well, I'm not sure. Mark put a business plan together. We all sat down and we put it together and, and uh, we tried to be real conservative on, on the amount that we can, uh, that we'll be producing per plant and per acre. And uh, and we're pretty conservative with it. But with the shortage right now, the, the demand is there. So there's a pretty good price. So I think we're getting in at the right time. But yeah, we have, we have a business plan drawn out. It's quite an investment. Uh, because it's pretty labor intense. Everything has to be irrigated. Uh, the, the folks that were buying the plants from would not have sold us the plants if we if we hadn't signed an agreement that we will irrigate all these plants. So uh, we just drilled a well a couple weeks ago, and uh, everything will be irrigated on the farm. Um.